Hello everybody and welcome back to another Heyday video. So today's video is going to be another tutorial for the latest um, Sanctuary update. The, the Sanctuary update? What am I on about? The latest Valley update, which is a Sanctuary Valley. So if I tap on the board and head on over here, um, I'm going to just show you around and explain a few things that hopefully will help you understand it a little bit better um, because I know when I first um, looked at this update I was extremely confused, did not understand what was going on whatsoever um, and I know that it's uh, already been you know about 10 days since the valleys um, you know been happening and this video probably won't go up until next year so um, because at the time that I'm recording this it is currently Boxing Day here in Australia um, and I have two more videos to upload before this one so again it probably won't be up until next year so it will be delayed so apologies for that but I just thought that it would be worthwhile to film this little video explaining how the Sanctuary Valley works. So, much like the standard valley, you have the red icons, which are yourself. You have the, where is everybody? The green icons, which are your neighborhood. And you should also have, or not, some yellow icons, which, where is everybody? What is going on? Normally they pop up. That is very strange. Huh. Well, you should also have some yellow icons, which are other random players that have been put into your valley. So I believe there should be about 60 players in each valley, um, including your neighborhood. So there should be other random players around the world in there as well although I cannot seem to find any so uh, that backfired anywho and these other symbols up here which are different to the standard valley um, include the paw prints which symbolize a little enclosure we have the fuel station symbols there which is the fuel can and all the animal symbols which are waiting um, to be picked up and returned to the sanctuary. So the basic um, idea of this valley is that rather than collecting chickens like we do in a standard valley, we have to collect the animals and bring them back to their enclosures and we have to collect 400 animals to unlock this exclu exclusive um, shop and therefore choose one of the three prizes. So, these three dots above your icon show you how many animals you have at a certain time, which I did not understand. If you watch my video um, of me exploring the new update for the first time, I didn't know what they were, but now I do. So right now they are gray, which means I don't currently have any animals with me. But once I do go and collect the animals, they will light up um, and you can have a maximum of three animals um, in your truck at one time. And then you have to drop them off at the um, enclosure. So I will show you that in just a moment. But before I do, I want to explain the fuel station, which I'm currently at here. So if you tap on that, OK, that's not helpful. It's currently out of stock, but basically you are offered fuel. If you're lucky, you will come across a free um, fuel option where you don't have to pay for it. So if you do come across that, I would highly recommend taking it because um, it's free fuel. Who can pass up on that? Um, otherwise, they will have fuel options, which means that you have to pay diamonds to get the fuel. So for example, um, it could be, you know, 10 fuel for five diamonds or something like that. That's just an example. Um, and as similar to the, that's not English, similarly to the 
request buildings, um, you do have to wait um, for the fuel to restock. Here it says it opens again in 8 hours and 41 minutes. So I'm not waiting that long. Um, I might drive around and see if I can show you another one, if there's going to be one in my path there. So that's basically the fuel stations. You get offers for fuel. You can choose to pay the diamonds or you can choose to just um, drive on past it and ignore it. I've only paid diamonds once to get the fuel um, because I wanted to have enough built up so that I could explain um, this valley to you in this video. Um, but I would highly recommend if you get an offer for free fuel, taking it because um, you need all the fuel you can get in this valley. So next thing I want to explain is the animals. So normally in a standard valley we see chickens popping up everywhere. This time it is animals, so hippos, elephants and giraffes all over the valley. There's heaps and heaps and heaps over here. Um, and if you zoom in you can see them just waiting to be picked up on the path there. So I'm going to show you what happens when you do pick up an animal. It is basically the same as when you pick up a chicken in the normal valley. So if I tap on this building here and I drive there, there we go. I've picked up a hippo and you will see the dot. One of them is now filled in, which means I have one out of three animals that I can carry in my um, uh, truck. Oh, I shouldn't have gone that way. I should have gone this way because there's a thing up there. Oh, well. Oh, there's one down there too. Okay. And then if I go on this building here and drive past this elephant, he will hop out of the way so he can jump on in my truck. So now the second dot has, um, you know, what's the word I'm looking for? Lit up. So now I have two out of three animals in my truck. Um, is there any more here? No, can't see any more in my path. Oh, there's a hippo there. Okay, we'll get him then and get some tokens on the way. The buildings, nothing's changed there. You still fulfill the requests if you've got the items there to collect the tokens. Three animals delivered by others, so that means that somebody else has just dropped their animals off. And then if I go around here, oops, I don't have any bacon. Let's quickly... Oh no, I need to feed my pigs. Okay, well, I'll just skip that building. But I will tap on the hippo and collect him. So that I have the three out of three animals. So you can only carry a maximum of three animals in your truck. Alright, and then we'll head on. Uh, okay, so there's a sanctuary here. So once you've gotten one, two or three animals, you want to head on over to a enclosure area where you drop them off. So I'm going to head over to that one because it's the closest. And fulfill these requests on the way to keep building up my tokens. Uh, what's going to be the quickest? Probably if I go down here. And we'll go down this way. Ugh, delivery requests. Oh well. It's not going to hurt to take it. But I want to drop these animals off first. Oops, someone else is driving off there. Let's see where they're going. Oh, they've picked up an elephant. Oh, you could even see it jump in. That's cool. I haven't actually seen that before. All right, so if I tap on this one, so the animal sanctuary deliver lost animals here. So if I go drive here. Now, it will take half an hour to unload the animals from your truck and deliver them to the sanctuary. Um, so you can either wait the half an hour, which is really not that long when you think about it, or you can pay five diamonds to speed it up. I'm going to pay the five diamonds just so I can show you what happens. So if I go speed up and then I get the token amounts that were displayed there, which are added to my total. Um, so you get some of each. The token amounts are not always the same. 
they do vary but you do get quite a few tokens and I think the more animals you have the more tokens you will get I believe um, that's what I've observed anyway so those have been added to my total there now I have already purchased some things because I had a massive imbalance in my tokens this time round um, like really really massive so it's not too bad at the moment but I had like no blue and heaps of pink so I had to buy some items um, to try and even them out a little bit so um, and now I'm working my way back up to the amount I need to get the beautiful hot air balloon so with everybody working together we have already gotten the 400 animals which is awesome because that means that now all I need to do is build up my tokens so I can get as many um, or as few prizes as I would like so that's awesome we've got 467 I personally thought that it was going to be really really challenging to get the 400 animals but like they're popped up everywhere so as long as you have an active valley then you shouldn't really have any issues in getting the 400 animals um, and I also don't really build my fuel up past 200 like I normally stop there so that combined with the free fuel from the fuel stops has got me enough fuel to help contribute to this 400 total now another new element in this valley is the piggy bank which was another thing that really 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 confused me the first time I looked at it at um, the valley in my other video so basically the piggy bank is another way for tokens to be stored so you have your normal wallet um, which you can access at any time to purchase um, where are we to purchase the prizes in the general shop throughout the valley um, the duration of the valley and the piggy bank, you cannot open it until the end of the valley season. And I do believe it costs 25 diamonds to open. So mm, I don't know if I'm going to be doing that because I don't really want to spend that many diamonds um, to open this. But what it does mean is that you can possibly buy two of the three prizes in the exclusive shop so you could buy the hot air balloon and the boosters you could buy the hot air balloon and the diamonds or the diamonds and the boosters you know so um, it does mean that you can buy two out of the three prizes in the exclusive shop which is pretty cool but when you think about it spending 25 diamonds to do that I don't know if it's worth it um, Especially not if you're just going to get the 45 diamonds. Like you're spending, um, sorry, 40 diamonds. If you're spending 25 diamonds to get 40 diamonds, then you're only going to get 15 diamonds because you've lost 25 in trying to get this anyway. So that is if you open up the piggy bank, I mean. So I don't know if I'm going to be doing that. Um, so basically, I can't show you now because my piggy bank is indeed full. But when you tap on a building to do a request, there will be a little piggy um, icon down in the bottom corner. And once you complete the request, a certain amount of tokens will be added to your piggy bank. And they generally are in equal amounts of the three red, blue and green tokens. Although something funky has gone on with mine and I've got 401 blue, 401 red and 398 green. So something went wrong there because I believe it's supposed to be 400 of each token because um, you get an even amount of tokens put in your piggy bank per building request. So something's gone wrong there, um, which is a little bit of a pain. So I might have to send that one to customer support and just see if it's meant to do that. Um, so that's a bit strange anyway so oh, I've still got my delivery request oh and if you have a look in the um, wheat here it says heyday which I thought was pretty cool and there's also an SC just there for supercell which I thought was pretty damn cool um, so that is basically how the sanctuary valley works again the basic idea you drive around 
doing requests as usual to build up your tokens, collecting animals and delivering them to the animal pens with the aim of getting the 400 to unlock the exclusive shop and get whatever special prize you wish to. Um, and then you can still spend your normal tokens on the prizes here. Um, fuel stations are great. Oh, I was going to see if I could show you one. Okay, let's head on over to maybe that one if it's closest. Still don't have the bacon, don't have bread. Hmm. Okay, well, let's just go straight there then. Ah, there's a red player, somebody else. So yes, yeah, so you should have your red, which is you, your green, which is your neighborhood, and yellow, um, which are other people that have put in your valley. So if I tap on here, hopefully there'll be a free fuel offer. There we go. So that's free um, fuel. I have an hour and a half to collect it. I am indeed going to do that. And now if I look at it again, you have to pay a diamond to get the fuel. So I would definitely, definitely go for the free fuel. Um, I don't think I'll be spending diamonds to get it. Um, I'm just going to keep building up my fuel spins, although I'm going to wait until tomorrow. Oh, that's not great. Um, so yeah, that's basically how the Sanctuary Valley works. Let me know your thoughts on it. Honestly, I wasn't sure about it when I first looked at it, but it's actually really grown on me. I like that they have changed up the valley because I'm not going to lie, I was starting to get a bit bored of having the same thing over and over again. So I hope that they, you know, bring this type of valley back every now and then to change it up a little bit. And maybe one day in the future, we will have other types of valleys. So let me know your thoughts on the Sanctuary Valley in the comment section below. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful, even though my explanations and wording can be a little bit, you know, all over the place. Um, but yeah, so I hope you found this helpful and I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye for now.